Hello and welcome to the cryptocurrency news channel. So we have some news. Um, one of the guys who runs a uh, billion dollar fund and also has just raised several hundred million dollars in capital for cryptocurrencies actually has said mass adoption is going to happen as soon as next week because he says many, many billionaire fund managers will actually have announcements of making Bitcoin available to the masses as soon as next week and over the uh, following few weeks. So if you are not invested in Bitcoin, you have some money sitting out, it might be a good idea to just DCA in right now. And for those of you that don't know what DCA means, that means dollar cost average. Don't go all in at once, but it's a good idea to actually dump some in right now because unless this guy is totally lying, which I suppose could be true, I really don't know why he would actually do that. Um, this could actually have big implications. Remember, like, Throughout la end of last year and beginning of this year, we've been seeing fund after fund after fund. You know, like a lot of these big money guys come into crypto saying how uh, crypto is awesome. We have Elon Musk, we have Mark Cuban, but those guys don't actually run funds. Like these guys that he actually mentions, they actually run funds and they have the potential to bring hundreds, if not thousands of people uh, into cryptocurrency. So the uh, it's from Stone Ridge co-founder Gutman, and he is the manager of a $10 billion asset uh, asset manager. And he mentioned this on podcast and he basically said, uh, more or less next week, uh, you're going to see an absolute drumbeat, a drumbeat of pretty game changing milestones from some of these firms. The firms he's talking about are the ones that joined his, um, joined NYDIG's lead uh, for multiple finance firms of a growth capital round. And, and you're seeing Familiar names like Morgan Stanley, New York Life, Mass Mutual, Soros Fund. If, you, um, if you've been listening to conspiracy theory a lot, George Soros is planning to take over the world with whatever the hell he's doing. I don't really believe in conspiracy theory, so I don't care for that crap. But George Soros is very rich and he does manage a lot of funds and FS investments. So there's other uh, lesser known fintech firms like Casasa, Nimbus, and Movin. But these are big names in the traditional finance industry. They they uh, manage billions, if not trillions of dollars. And them coming in and offering a crypto product could mean tons and tons of money flowing into crypto. So you see like the road from, you know, 10,000 to 50,000 from last year until now. You might see 50 to 100,000, maybe possibly to 150,000 and beyond. And in fact, someone actually has predicted that Bitcoin will be 115,000 by August. I think this makes it very, very possible. I mean, think about this. Each of these uh, have each of these are multi-billion dollar funds and other funds when they see actually these funds go in they might actually jump in for fear of missing out and for fear of losing the competition so that could spur on even more and these official funds or like these i guess legitimate funds as you would call them definitely morgan stanley new york life coming in that would pave the way for other uh, institutions to look at bitcoin and cryptocurrencies as uh you know, like legitimate. And even if they don't want to invest in it themselves, they could actually invest in one of these funds that these institutions actually put up. We don't really know what the announcement is, but the, but he basically alludes to mass adoption and he alludes to that several of these places will actually make Bitcoin and cryptos more accessible to the public. I personally think Bitcoin and crypto has been pretty accessible to the public. All I have to do is go on Coinbase or Binance.com and actually buy some. But if you want a, a third layer and like none of the second layer protecting you, and none of the second layers so far have kind of a tickled your fancy. This could be the way to actually get people in. So I am actually quite bullish uh, about all of this. I do think it is, um, I definitely do think it's a good way to really get uh, more people in. Uh, these funds are trusted by a lot of investment professionals, a lot of traditional uh, finance market uh, investment professionals, and we can actually start bringing a lot of them in. So next week could be really big. I don't really know what these, uh, announcements are my guess is going to be like george soros announcing hey i have a fund for bitcoin now or morgan stanley saying hey we have a fund for bitcoin that you can invest in and that could be mean big big money and of course bitcoin pulls the rest of the altcoin up so we be, could be going for a second bore on a second moon so that is the news for today let me know what you think like and subscribe and hit that bell, uh, notifications button thank you and have a nice day